Hello and welcome to uh, Love Muslims Critique Islam. This is part three. We're talking about paradise in this episode. And throughout the series of videos, I'll be sharing with you the truth of Islam uh, that you won't get from the mainstream media and you won't get from Muslims. So let me reveal to you the secrets that Imams don't want you to know and take you on a journey of absolute truth. Well, a Muslim can never be sure of entering paradise. Um, and even Muhammad didn't know himself um, whether he'll be let in. And we read this in Surah 46.9, uh, where he says, I'm not something original among the messengers, nor do I know what would be done with me or with you. I only follow what which is revealed to me, and I am not a clear warner. And so we also read this, uh, where the uh, the prophet saying in Sahih Al Bukhari, volume two, book twenty three, number three three four, and where he's referring to uh, Uthman bin Mazun when he died. This is what he says: uh, No doubt, death came to him. Uh, by Allah, I too wish him good, but by Allah, I do not know what Allah will do with me, though I am Allah's apostle. By Allah, I never attested the piety of anyone after that. So what chance does the ordinary Muslim have if even Muhammad didn't know what his fate was? And so until Judgment Day, Muslims will wait nervously for Allah's verdict. And you can do all the good deeds possible. Pray five times a day, fast, pay your taxes, go on the Hajj, and still get no reward. And it is clear from Islamic teaching that most women will be in hell, uh, along with all non-believers, of course. Uh, even most Muslims will find themselves in hell, uh, albeit for a short time before they go to, to paradise. I read this um, in uh, Shahir Bukhari, Volume 1, Book 2, Number 28. This is uh, narrated by Ibrahim Abbas. Uh, he's talking about, he's quoting the Prophet. And he says, uh, I was shown the hellfire and that the majority of its dwellers were uh, women uh, who were ungrateful. It was asked, uh, do they disbelieve in Allah or are they ungrateful to Allah? And he replied, they are ungrateful to their husbands and are ungrateful for the favours and the good uh, done to them. So if you have always been good to one of them and then she sees something in you, um, not have a liking, she will say, I have never received any good from you. Now, Christianity is uh, it's the only faith that doesn't require works for salvation, as they know uh, that Jesus has paid the price for our sins, and that Christian's passage to heaven is um, assured and uh, by uh, by faith as they're saved by the grace of God. Uh, and therefore, um, we, the comparisons could be more stark between it and other faiths. Um, I would ask Muslims also uh, whether Ramadan is worth all that starvation and all that suffering, and, and oh, why do they do it? And well, they tend to answer the second question um, by simply pointing skywards. So just, <laughs> just, just do this. So I fill in the blanks. I said, oh, uh, do you mean God? And they just like that, they just nod. Um, but they will never tell me whether it's worth it or not. Now, why is this? Because in several verses in the Quran, it says that Allah is the best of deceivers and therefore cannot be trusted. So they know this, uh, Muslims. Now, uh, in some English translations, the, the phrase uh, best of deceivers is translated as best of planners. But, um, don't get uh, fooled, as the Quran is only meant to be read in its original text, i.e. Arabic, um, it's the root word that we go, and that is deception. And so good deeds and bad deeds are weighed on scales, and salvation is hoped for, uh, but not assured. Muslims will simply never know till the end when it's all too late, uh, and Allah will decide. It's all God's will, uh, they tell me. Um, inshallah, uh, God willing. 
Inshallah is a popular saying among Muslims. It's all about luck and hope. Uh, so a Muslim throughout their life took a gamble that they cannot afford to lose. They gamble with their e e eternal status. Um, rather ironic that a people who are not supposed to gamble are prepared to do so with their afterlife. It's Sorry, I'll, excuse me for laughing, but it's, it's not funny. It, it's extremely, extremely tragic. Um, the fact that even for Muhammad, there was no guarantee of he himself getting into paradise is, is a fact curiously not lost on Muslims. Uh, they just look forlornly at me when I point this out to them. Um, and they are playing one big game of lottery. You see, Allah is in charge and there is an air of fatalism with Muslims. Uh, this unknowingness about their fate throughout their life would put anyone on a, on a knife edge. The sense of unfairness should lead them to questioning whether or not there is another way. Uh, we say, yes, of course, when Christianity, there is a guarantee of eternal life. This blind faith and the hope of entering paradise is partly motivated by sexual desire and being able to take your sins with you. What is promised in paradise is based on carnal desire and sin. So what is there? Uh, well, we read this in Surah 56, 12, that there is a garden of carnal delights. And there will be virgin females and chaste and promised beautiful boys and girls and 72 virgins that would last forever, according to the Hadith. Uh, it is said to have a garden of wonderful fruit, rivers of wine, and a land of milk and honey. All the things, basically, that are forbidden to Muslims here on earth. Um, they will be there waiting for them in paradise. And the reference to pretty boys actually is, is a curious thing, seeing that the penalty for homosexuality in Islam is death, as we read this by Ibrahim Abbas. Um, he's reporting the, the, uh, the Apostle of Allah and Muhammad um, and saying, if you find anyone doing as lots of people did, kill the one who does it and the one to whom it is done, and that's uh, in the Sunan uh, Abu Dawood uh, 4447. Um, believers will receive a reward, but it's not clear what that reward will be, and it's also unclear what is in paradise for women. Um, what do women get if, as a big if, they make it to paradise as the um, sexual gratifications are male orientated. Uh, according to Islamic teaching, women honoring their husbands on earth will continue to honor them by giving them a sexual service in paradise. Uh, <laughs> which sounds fantastic for men, for who? Uh, not too sure about the ladies. So what is not there? Well, the answer to that is God. Um, some Muslims believe that they may just catch a glimpse of him um, but he won't be dwelling with them, uh, walking with them, or having a relationship with them, uh, let alone a, a loving one. Because we read this in the, uh, uh, in the Quran, uh, Surah 4251, it is not fitting for a man that Allah should speak to him, except by inspiration, or from behind a veil, or by the sending of a messenger to reveal, with Allah's permission, what Allah wills. Uh, for he is most high and most wise. Um, in the Quran, there are many threats of punishment and a, a great fear of Allah, because uh, it's, it's basically a, a fear-based uh, ideology. Uh, there is a fear of upsetting God, fear of leaving Islam, fear of insulting Islam, fear of insulting Allah or Muhammad. And the, the way to gain Allah's approval is usually uh, a big talking point for Muslims. But as far as the eternal afterlife is concerned, uh, you can either listen to Muhammad and take a chance, or you can listen to Jesus and be completely assured of your ticket to heaven. There are accounts of people having near-death experiences uh, where people claim to go to heaven 
uh, meet Jesus, uh, then coming back from Toto Patel. Now, whether they are true is a moot point, but I can't help notice there are no accounts of people experiencing Islamic paradise, meeting Muhammad and reciting their experience in, uh, afterwards. Well, just a thought uh, that I will leave you with. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed this third episode, Paradise. Uh, in the next episode, I will be exploring more truths of Muhammad and whether he was even a prophet. So please subscribe to the channel for some more surprising truths of Islam uh, that you just won't get from the mainstream media and you won't get anywhere else. So, and you've heard it here first. Uh, but meantime, I'll say bye for now.